G'day and welcome to the Tech Math Channel. What we're going to be having a look at in this video is we're going to be looking at how to find the shorter sides, uh, these A or B sides, when we're using Pythagoras, okay? So, uh, the Pythagorean theorem, first off, number one, we can use it to work out, uh, well, basically what it was stating is that the sum of these two, the square of these two sides, okay? So we square this side and we square this side, we add them together, it's going to be the same as the square on this side, which this side here is called the hypotenuse. So we have a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared here. And we're going to be working out how we can work out, say, one of these sides, these shorter sides, given the two other sides. Okay, it's not too hard, it just requires first putting it into this formula here and then moving things around. So let's launch straight into it. Say so this is the type of example you're given where you are asked to work out um, this unknown side here, okay? What about I give it a bit of a letter value, I'll call this one X. Okay, so what is our unknown side here? Okay, so first off I'm going to jot down the Pythagorean, the Pythagorean, the, the, the Pythagoras' theorem, which is A squared plus B squared equals C squared. And let's just slot our things into the uh, formula here. So we have, uh, let's call X here x squared okay so x oh, what am i doing there i didn't mean to put it equals there x squared plus b squared okay so plus eight squared equals c squared 10 squared okay we can work this out a little bit further now so we can keep our x squared and with eight squared is 64 and this equals to 10 times 10 which is 100 now, what you might realise with this is that we want to get x by itself here. And that's really, really easy. The way we do this is as follows. We just take the 64 off both sides. So if we take 64 off this side, we also take 64 off this side, so everything stays nice and equal. So we're going to end up taking 64 from 64, which cancels each other out. So we just on this side, we're going to be stuck with, or left with, x squared. 100 take away 64. The answer is 36. Okay, so x is going to be equal to the square. Well, I don't know what happened there. x is going to be equal to the square root of 36. And so therefore the square root of 36, what number do you times by itself to get 36? It's 6. And we can put the units back in there. Centimetres. So this unknown side here is 6 centimetres. You see how we do that? That's fairly, fairly simple. Okay, let's work out another example here. So say this is our the one we want to work out. It is the one we want to work out. I'll move it just a little bit. Um, again, let's just jot down the formula. So, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Okay, and we'll give this one an unknown side a letter. Let's this time, uh, let's call it x, just for the heck of it. And we will say, therefore, x squared plus b squared, which is 4 squared, equals 18 squared. Okay. I think I'm going to end up running out of room in a second on this side, but that's okay, I can deal with this. We're going to end up with x squared plus, so 4 times 4 is 16 and then we have 18 squared so 18 times 18 324 324 okay so what are we going to do now with this well what we can do is we can get this x all by itself and the way we'll do this is we're going to take 16 off both sides I'm going to have to move this whole entire thing over here. I can see this now. Well, with the miracles of computers, I'll be able to do this. You watch this. It's like magic. Look at that. Okay, so I'll move the whole lot over there where I'm not going to run out of space. And let's get back to it. Um, so, we take 16 off this side. We're going to end up with x squared. Oh, not a bit too far. x squared. And 
this is going to be equal to where we these two are going to cancel each other out, obviously. And we're then going to take 16 off here. So we're going to get this answer of 308. Okay, so x is going to equal the square root of 308, which will equal, let's have a look, 308 inverse squared is 17.5. Seventeen point five. We're using meters. Okay. So how did you go with that? Let's have a look at one more example. So say we have this particular one here. Again, let's label this unknown side. And again, it's one of the shorter sides. Okay. So write out our formula: a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Okay, let's substitute in some values here. So, uh, we're going to call this, I think we're going to call this one here, x again. So, x squared plus b squared. What's b squared? Well, this is the shorter side here. So, 12 squared equals this one here squared. So, 15 squared. Okay, so let's work these out. x squared plus 12 times 12 is 144. 15 times 15 is 225. Okay, so let's get this x squared all by itself. And the way we do this is we're going to take 144 from both sides. And when we do this, we end up with x squared, because this guys get rid of one another, and 225 take away 144. This is equal to 81, which is really, really handy because 81 is quite an easy number to work out the square root of, yeah, because you'll see in a second. Uh, so x is equal to the square root of 81, and therefore the square root of 81. What number do you times by itself to get 81? Our magical answer is 9. So how did you go with that? Pretty good? Hey, 9 what? <laughs> 9 centimeters put the units in all right so hopefully you're pretty good with these uh so what we're going to have a look at now is we're going to start having a look at uh shapes that don't necessarily have triangles in them and how we can use pythagoras theorem to actually work these out and i hope to see you then see you next time bye